do you have special cut settings that you like to use over and over and over? Would you like to make those settings permanent so you don't have to keep setting them over and over? Stick around, I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Susan with Blue Vinyl Stickers and a few videos ago I mentioned that I would help you or walk you through how to set up the user-defined cut settings for your uh, Cameo uh, machines. Now you can do this with uh, any version of the software, basic all the way up to business. Um, it all works the same. So this is my design and it is a sticker. And for my stickers, my particular machine cuts slightly different than what the settings at Silhouette gives me. So instead of changing them every single time or forgetting to change them every single time and messing up and ruining sticker paper, I went ahead and set myself up two uh, sets of user-defined cut settings. So I'm going to come over here to my send panel. And this is what you're going to see. When you come over here, it's going to actually be on simple. And you can do this uh, in simple, but I like to do this in line, and you'll see why here in a second. If I do this in line, I get to pick the individual colors that I want uh, individual uh, cut settings for. If I have simple, then I have everything that you see here will cut in the same um, setting. So if I cut this, it would cut on a force of 22 and a speed of 10. It would not only uh, cut all the way through the sticker paper, but it would actually rip up my um, cutting mat. So I come over here to line. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the black outline. Now watch over here. And then I'm going to turn off no color because the uh, lobsters, I believe, were just pictures. They weren't um, anything else. They were just images. So they come in as no color. So I am left with two outlines, a red outline and a blue outline. And I want the uh, red outline to be just a uh, cut just like it would for um, vinyl. I don't want these to cut through an individual uh, stickers, I want these to be a sheet of stickers. And then I want the a nice outline for my customers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I can, I can change these here to any setting I want, but like I said, I want a custom one. So I'm going to come down here to Material, Action, and Tool. And I am going to click the down arrow right here. And I am going to come down to the uh, turquoise button down here that says add new material type and click and it brings up this screen now don't be afraid of this screen it's just a, a custom setting screen I am going to click on the plus when I do I can add whatever I want to call this so I'm going to call this test lobster outline and uh, then I'm just going to click here come down to my blade setting and I am going to leave it at a 1 and a force of 9 and my speed I like at 5 and 1 pass and that will cut uh, anything that is um, I'm going to call this the, the red outline so but how am I going to know this is the red outline ah! I messed up. So what I can do is I can double click on it. It will bring that box back up and I'm going to say red outline and then click OK. Then make sure my settings stayed where they wanted or I wanted them. Leave these alone. These are uh, just perfectly fine where they are. The platform is for the curio and then just say save and if you notice that little save up here went away when I click save down here now let's make sure it 
it saved everything. So I'm going to click on this one up here and then down on Red Lobster and it did save it. So now every time that I uh, set up a new uh, file, if I choose that and then come back here to design and then come over here to file and save as, the machine will know that those are the settings that I want for this particular uh, set of stickers and I don't have to set them again. Okay, so watch, let's watch in real life. Okay, come over here to send. And I want the blue to be my outline. Now I know my blue, come down here to where it says user defined. Anything user defined is something that I have put here. I know that the blue is going to be my green outline. Doesn't matter what color, as long as you remember what it is, then um, you're fine. So that one is going to be set at a force of, uh, at a blade of three, a force of 22, and a speed of 10. Now the red, I'm gonna go ahead and click that again. Come down here and I want the red outline. And the red outline is gonna be a one with a force of nine and a speed of five. Now I want the red to cut out before I cut out the blue because the blue is going to cut all the way through the paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it and drag it up. And the red will now cut before the blue. Okay, I think that about does it for uh, how to set up a custom sticker. Um, oh, and file, and file and save as, and we're gonna save it to the library, and um, we're going to save it as lobster, and I'm gonna say okay. Yes, it go ahead, and we're going to save it again. And I wanna show you one thing that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna say file, quit, and you will get this message right here. It says, do you wanna save changes to untitled one Studio 3, I'm going to say no, because that was, I've already saved it. I'm going to say no. Now, it might come up and ask you if you want to save the uh, cut settings. Say yes. Um, it didn't ask me that, so let's go ahead and open up Silhouette again. All right, and there it is fully loaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the library and I am going to click on lobster and say open. And let's come over here to our send panel and see what it did. And there it is. It left it at the red. Oops, I changed it. It left it at the red and it left it at the green. Okay, so um, if you have any questions or concerns about this one, please leave them in the comments below. Um, if not, um, like and subscribe, and I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.